Non Visual Desktop Access or NVDA is a screen reader software that persons with vision impairment use to work on the computer. Traditionally, persons with vision impairment have had challenges accessing information, particularly printed material. I was a, a low vision person actually and uh, I lost my vision at the age of uh, 13. Somehow my mother used to help me once she comes from the office she used to sit with me for two hours and she would read it out to me. Today, Ramakrishna is able to pay his bills independently, book tickets to travel on his own and check emails on his smartphone. He is also able to read his favourite novels in Tamil. Uh, now I work as an accessibility tester in IBM. As part of my job, I test web applications using the screen reader, whether these applications are accessible for the, for the screen reader users. Nirmita Narasimhan, Director of Policy at the Centre for Internet and Society, believes in the potential of NVDA and has been one of its champions. What I like best about this project is that it's entirely community driven. There's a great role for NVDA to play in the future to enable inclusion and participation for persons with print disabilities in India and neighbouring countries who share similar languages as us. NVDA has the power to revolutionise the way children with vision impairment access education and the choices they make regarding their field of study. With NVDA, higher education for persons with vision impairment can now include subjects like mathematics and the sciences that were previously inaccessible. Deependra Manocha, head of the National Association for the Blind, New Delhi, shares about this. What this software and, uh, and a portable computer is doing for children for an institution like NAB Delhi, it allows them to write their own assignments themselves, they can write their own examinations, they can read books themselves and get access to all the digital information including online libraries or dictionaries or newspapers, magazines and so on and so forth so that they can not only just read their textbooks but also all the other materials which can uh, give them a much wider knowledge base which is required for an overall growth of the children. In India, where language can be a barrier to access of technology, being able to use NVDA in regional languages can be an advantage. Here are some students using NVDA in Canada to access textbooks. <laughs> Historically, employment for persons with vision impairment has been a challenge because of electronic accessibility issues and the high cost of proprietary screen reader software. Moses Chaudhary from Enable India talks about how NVDA has made a difference in the employment scenario. If I think about uh, employment scenario for persons with vision impairment in the country today, I'm very happy to see the number of jobs that are getting opened up for persons with vision impairment because of NVDA. And the good news is NVDA supports many Indian languages today and persons with vision impairment who are hired in the government departments are able to use NVDA and eSpeak to be productive at workplace. NVDA is constantly being improved by a dedicated community of developers. Dinesh from Sapient and Manshul from IIT Delhi are two of the key people developing newer features requested by the visually impaired community. So smart arts are usually used for showing diagrams, process diagrams or organizational charts. So if you have a top person and then there are, there are people reporting to that person, so those are shown in a smart art. So before we worked on this, there was again, the, there was no solution available for reading this. And in fact, people said that we uh, only tell people that don't use them. So it's not accessible. Since we have done this, now uh, visually impaired persons can uh, kind of access that. And one person in fact said that it might help me to get a promotion because at a higher level, you need to look at these diagrams and even, in, even create them. Dr. G. V. Rao, Executive Director of the Hans Foundation talks about their journey with NVDA. One of the major sectors what we have been supporting is disability. 
and uh, NVDA is a program which uh, we found is very useful to really bring development or uh, improvement in the lives of visually impaired uh, and uh, low vision uh, people. What we want to really see that this really goes down up to the rural areas where uh, the, uh, these people are staying uh, in rural areas, they should also benefit from this so that they can also be educated and get this opportunity. That's our next step as to how to disseminate further. NVDA has been enabling the visually impaired community in India and around the world live lives with dignity and independence. When I start computers, when I switch on the screen reader, I am as good as anyone else. NVDA. Educate. Engage. Excel. Supported by the Hans Foundation. Created by the Centre for Internet and Society and Enable India. Special thanks to Saksham Trust, IIT Delhi, Sapient and the National Association for the Blind, New Delhi.